All right, here I'm going to walk you through a quick uh, double interpolation of the superheated steam tables, table B7 in the back of your textbook. Um, so what we're looking for is we're looking for the enthalpy of superheated steam at 25 bar and 435 degrees C. So from the steam tables, we have values of enthalpies at either 20 bar or 40 bar, and then we have uh, temperature increments of 400, 450, etc. So what we're looking for is, you know, what would be this value kind of somewhere around here? Okay, and so I've already, or to, to do this interpolation, what I'm going to do is I'm first gonna interpolate between these two values uh, using the lever rule. And then I'm gonna interpolate between those two values uh, using the lever rule. And so I've already done this for these first two values here. And that's shown up in this block right here. So this is the enthalpy of superheated steam at 25 bar and 400 degrees C. And just the same time, I, I'm just gonna show you one here. So what I wanna do first is I wanna see um, what is the difference in these two you know, index values from 20 to 40, um, where my value of 25 is. And in order to see the, the percent difference is I just have to take a, I just have to subtract the lower value from my current value. So my current value is 25 minus the lower value over this difference, which is 40 minus 20. And if I do that ratio, what I see is this ends up to be 0.25. Okay, or in other words, 25 is 25% of the way from 20 to 40 um, in terms of this table. And so I just need to find the value that's 25% of the way from this value to the next value in the table. And I already did that, so I'll do it for this value. So for here, um, this enthalpy at 25 bar in 450 degrees C, it's just going to be this first value at the lower pressure, 3358 plus 0 0.25, so 25% of the difference of this value minus this value. So 3331 minus 3358. Okay, so, so what I'm doing is I'm starting from this value and I'm just adding a quarter of this difference because that's where my pressure is, right? And so if I go ahead and you know quickly do this math in my head, I get 3351.25. I already did this calculation earlier. So I can go ahead and now put this value in my you know made up table right here. Okay, so now I have the values for the, the at 25 bar. And so now I want to find out what is going to be my value now at my actual temperature of 435 degrees Celsius. And so I just need to interpolate between these two values and it's going to be the same thing. How far how far of a difference from this temperature index to the next index. And to get that, I'm just going to take what my current temperature is, so 435 minus the lower value of 400 over what is this difference in the values in the table. And that's 450 minus 400. And if I do that, I get 35 over 50 and that gives me 0 0.7. So I need to find the value that is this plus 70% of this difference. Or in other words, it's 3240.75 plus 0.7 times the difference going from the higher to the lower is 3351.25 minus 3240.75. Okay, and if I go ahead and I you know do that math, I end up getting um, 3318.1 kilojoules per kilogram. And this again is my value for the enthalpy at 25 bar and 435 degrees Celsius.